And all the good stuff happening over there in Kentucky. How about hillbilly days down in Pikeville? Well, very similar forecast, and the potential is there for some of these showers and storms to reach us here in Charleston as well. But notice the drop-off as we head into Saturday. More refreshing weather is eventually going to make its way in, and that will give us a relief from all of this. The nonsense, the showers, the thunderstorms. We don't want any more of this, but we're going to get another shot of it here on your Friday morning. And the potential is there for a quarter of an inch of rain here in the Charleston area. The heaviest, though, I'm thinking will be in the parts of eastern Kentucky. Not a washout, but by the afternoon, as that cold front makes its way through, we'll see a couple more showers and storms start to develop, and they could bring some hail and gusty winds along with them. And right now, what we're seeing out into parts of Indiana is a weakening line of thunderstorms. It's becoming more broken up at this point in time, as well as some rain showers there just south of Louisville on Interstate 65. This is going to push its way eastward, and I'm thinking we could start to see it in our western counties now closer to sunrise, at least whatever is left of the moisture. Low pressure tracking into the Great Lakes region. There's a stronger storm up in Canada here, but the cold front still trails behind what you see on radar. And we're going to have to deal with that a little bit into your Friday afternoon. Isolated gusty winds of 60 miles an hour or greater are possible in the morning, especially in our western counties, but not out of the question to have a good amount of lightning and perhaps some small hail, even with the storms that form into the afternoon. So putting things into motion here on the future cast, cloud cover increasing by three in the morning. There's a chance of a stronger gusty storm close to the Scioto River Valley in the very pre-dawn hours. But then as we get later into the situation. That's when the storms begin to make their way in by 6 a.m. into Kentucky, our far western counties. Perhaps a gusty storm or two out of this and dealing with it in the metro area from Huntington to Charleston, 8 to 9 a.m. Could be a little bit damp for some of you on your ride to work. The heaviest rain looks to be in our southeastern counties, but there still could be some northward extent of this particular activity here. We'll keep a close watch on that. If you're tuning in to meteorologist Brandon Stover, he'll be tracking this for you throughout the morning. And heavy rain through the coal fields even by 10 in the morning. The good news is it's not a washout by any means. Lunchtime around here looks okay until the cold front comes through and we start to see these pop-up showers and storms even by 3 o'clock. They're fast movers, perhaps some hail with these and some gusty winds as they push their way eastward. We're still going to deal with the few by about 5 or 6 o'clock into the evening, but the late night hours look better. Scattered light rain showers here. There may be some mist around and fog waking up on Saturday as those temperatures cool down into the 40s. A nice day for the afternoon into the 60s with some sunshine. Look at these rain chances. They are dropping. That's a good thing. We like that. Some relief from all of the showers and thunderstorms. Cooler 60s and 70s. Next chance for rain comes in about the Wednesday time frame with another front. Thank you.